back, chili heads, to what not to do. Uh, today we're going to do another sauce review. I'm sure you've seen in the the title. Um, and this one I'm kind of particularly excited about because it's one that's kind of close to home. What I've got today is Bold Badger's Smokehouse. Taste, taste the badger hot sauce. So this is their smokehouse. They've got a really cool logo there. It's got the badger muscled up with a tattoo. Uh, and their sauce is open. I just opened it just a minute ago. I, I, you can see I'm in a new filming location. This is my uh, what not to do man quarters. Uh, it's actually down here in my basement. It's the one room that my wife and I decided that she can leave alone and let me do what I want to with it. Uh, so I do a bunch of stuff in here. I reload and I tinker and, and whatnot. <clears throat> but back to the sauce. And one of the reasons it's kind of exciting to me is because this is from a local Kentucky company. Uh, it says here on it, prepared and bottled in Madison County, Kentucky. Kentucky Proud product. And peppers were grown in Madison County. So this whole product is something that's kind of locally sourced. Uh, it's definitely bottled and like I said, all that up there. Uh, made with hickory smoked peppers, this fermented sauce goes great on everything. I love a good hickory smoke on anything. Uh, a lot of times I'll mix hickory and mesquite together for my pool, to when I make pulled pork or ribs or even wings. Uh, says Bold Badger Sauces was founded in 2016 with one goal in mind, to get rich selling hot sauce. Just kidding. Actually, to make delicious hot sauce at an affordable price, a long fermentation period gives our sauce a savory, piquant flavor that is both unique and delicious. Made in small batches using only the finest in natural ingredients, our sauces are sure to please the palate of any hot sauce aficionado. So this thing, it's got the, what, one thing I look for when I, when I pick a sauce out, if I'm, I think I'm gonna like, uh, is the first and second ingredient. It says a whole lot about the heat and the flavor profile. But on this, it's a blend of C Chinese, C Anum, and C Bactum peppers. Water, apple cider vinegar, carrots, salt, sweet onions, and garlic. So that's kind of a, a, a good sign, this being uh, the first ingredient being a pepper. So hopefully this is going to be a pretty tasty sauce. I'm going to get that my great big old tasting spoon here. And we're gonna go for a ride with this sauce today and see how it is. It's kind of a, about the consistency of A1 with some chunks in it. Uh, I try to show you, but it, it'd be hard to see on the camera. But it's it's about like A1. Uh, automatically, this far away, I'm already smelling the smoke to it. That hickory smoke is just oh, great. Right off the bat, I'm getting a little bit of burn. Nothing major, just a, a tickle. Let, it know, let me know what's there. Um, the smokiness is there. And it kind of follows the smokiness. I can kind of feel it through my, you know, you can almost smell it while you're eating it, which I like. Um, then it finishes pretty good in the back of my throat. Uh, so yeah. It's a pretty, pretty decent sauce. This would be really good. Uh, some burgers, a little bit on a hamburger, uh, especially if you had it grilled outside, you know, that type of flavor. Of course, uh, burgers are always better outside than not. So, pulled pork. Oh man, this would be awesome. Some pulled pork, uh, some ribs. Me, I eat hot sauce on everything. Everything. I get up in the morning, I love break pizza for breakfast. Hot sauce on it. Crushed red pepper flakes. Uh, but this definitely, this is a good sauce. It's unique in its flavor. Uh, not had a whole lot of sauces that's had this. It's got that fermented type taste. Uh, and the smokiness is it's just kind of very unique. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really good. Um, so, final review on this sauce. Heat wise, I'm going to have to rate it about a three or four. It's down there. It's nothing outrageous. I don't think it's supposed to be. It's not meant to be 
blown out of this world. It's, it's something more for flavor. Um, so I'm going to rate it three or four. And uh, taste, I'm going to get up there in that seven, eight category, probably eight. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to try it on some pulled pork. That, I'm kind of hungry anyway. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, so I'm thinking pulled pork with this on it. Uh, sounds excellent right now. Even some pulled pork nachos with this on top. Oh, that would just be incredible right there. So if you decide you want to help this Kentucky company out and purchase this fine sauce, there'll be a link down below uh, to Bold Badger Sauces where you can go buy this. Uh, I want to give a shout out to him uh, for sending it to me. I appreciate that for me to try. Uh, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy being here in front of this camera telling you about sauces. Uh, it's always been one of my my kind of things is, is hot sauce. Uh, so I appreciate that. And uh, you want to get included on my next videos. I've got some really hot challenges coming up. Uh, you're going to see a, a, a death nut challenge come up. Um, I've got some special uh, stuff ordered from Australia. I'll hold that for a surprise. I'm going to actually go for a record with that. Uh, so if you want to know anything about records and, and hot sauce and, and heat, uh, go over to League of Fire, uh, their website, League of Fire, and check them out. They've got rankings of people in the world who's got eating the most Carolina Reapers, who's eating the hottest stuff, the most of it, that type of thing. Uh, so I'm going to try to get get in that here soon. So that being said, guys, hey, appreciate you watching. And chili heads, keep it spicy. Till next time, I'll be seeing you.